We're on our white roof here, and probably should have done this when it was cloudier, but I really need to know the information because I'm gonna, it'll make me feel more comfortable knowing this when I do the next one, which is the porch roof. So what I did was I came up and took out a bunch of screws. Yeah, I didn't bother pulling the washers because they're stuck on there good. I'll just put the screws back in the same spot. And my goal was to pull it up and see where the water has been because wherever the water's been, it leaves it darker. A little bit of pollen on the roof or whatever and it goes in there wherever the water goes. So here we have a seam right here where two come together and they're overlapped by about a foot. So the question is, is where that seam is, how far over does the water come on each, each way? So uh, it's about a foot here, and when I lift this one up, it's about a foot over there too. Now we have an overlap of 12 inches here, so that's okay, it did not get to the roof. It's still, the roof is protected, but that tells me how far over it can go on a seam. So I wrote down 13 inches. And then over here, when I pick it up, and look underneath in some areas it's not going up much at all in other areas it's going up three about three inches maybe more probably should put down four so that'll now what I want to do is go on the other roof and do the same measurements and then we'll talk about what this all means I'm going to put it back together now.